What's up everyone? John Brenger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing and first look of the Sony Vio Fit 14. Uh, there's a lot of competition in the entry level laptop world, especially with Windows 8, and this is Sony's entrance. Go ahead, open it up, and take a first look. So here is the box for the Sony Vio Fit. Came to us uh, from our friends at Sony. Looks like this one's been opened. Uh, prices range at a pretty affordable, about $550, and go all the way up to a couple um, thousand. You could pick different screen sizes. Uh, they sent us the 14 inch with four gigs of RAM, Intel Core i3 at 1.7 gigahertz, um, and a 1920 by 1080 screen, and a 500 gigabyte spinny hard drive. Uh, there are all kinds of options. You can update the RAM, you can go SSD, uh, you can pick a ton of different things here. This is the entry level essential configuration here, so you can see how it would look. As I go ahead and try and cut this ridiculous amount of tape. All right, so finally my battle with the tape is over, and let's see what we've got inside. Oh, it like presents itself as you uh, slide the box. Uh, we've got power brick. We do have a digitizing pen, which is kind of cool. It feels really nice. Uh, it's like it's made of uh, either magnesium, magnesium or uh, aluminum or aluminium. Uh, push that out to the side. There are um, sort of two buttons there as well. This is, of course, a touch screen. Take advantage of Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, depending on what you're using. Uh, Sony, I think, designed some of the best laptops out there. Uh, their Vio Duo is a pretty cool looking laptop. Uh, this one as well, uh, very, very well designed. Uh, you've got aluminum uh, on the top. You go ahead and open it up. There's a bit of a rubber stopper right there, so your finger fits very nicely under it. And there, boom, she is. Uh, the keyboard on Sony laptops are really solid. It's got a gigantic multi-touch uh, trackpad here. So now we've got the guy out of the box. Let's take a look at all of the I.O. that we've got. Uh, that is where your power is going to go. Obviously, you've got a vent. We've got HDMI, USB 3.0. Uh, it's got kind of a segmented design, which I really like. It makes it feel uh, much thinner than it actually is. Uh, a bit of a tapered edge. We continue our tour uh, around. Uh, we've got a speaker right there. You've got, of course, your audio out. Full-size SD card slot and another USB 3.0. If you pull that down, that is where gigabit ethernet is going to live. And then your power button. But like most Windows 8 laptops right now, this one also has a few surprises up its sleeve. Look at that. Um, so you can screen can come down, view it like a normal laptop. You got a lock or release. Uh, if you go ahead and sort of pull this right here, you can turn this guy um, into a kiosk. If you'd like, you can tilt it back and make it a display, or you can close it and make it uh, a tablet. Though certainly in tablet mode, it's a little bit on the thick side, um, but you can still use it uh, as a tablet and get all of your sort of Windows 8 uh, action on if you decide to. Uh, pretty de decent design here. Of course, you've got also uh, a Windows button on the bottom to take you back home. Uh, or to the start menu, depending on where you are at. This guy is available now from Sony. It's their big laptop for the holiday season. Uh, if you want to see more on this, uh, we can cover it. We can show you what it can do spec-wise. We can show you the operating system and all that kind of stuff. Leave it in the comments down below if you are interested. Until next time, I'm John Rentsch from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.